Today I'm going to show you some modifications that we did to the aft deck on the RV4. This is not a requirement to do it, we just decided to strengthen up the back and add a strengthening plate. So we'll show you how we did it on the RV4. So like I mentioned, this is not required from Vans Aircraft. There is no service bulletin for the RV4. The reason we're doing it is that we've had F1 rockets as well as a local RV4 that had cracks in the aft deck. And since we're putting a little bit bigger engine on the front of this one, we decided to double up on the rivet spacing and add a strengthening plate to the aft deck. If you look at the aft deck on an F1 rocket, the spacing will be one inch, and in the RV4, it's two inches. So we just drew a line in between the existing rivets marked halfway and added a rivet in between each existing rivet in the front. Gives us one inch spacing on the front and actually a three inch spacing on the back once we double up the number of rivets. Every time we rivet, just using the rivet gauge every once in a while, as well as a flashlight and a mirror to make sure that we're getting nice shop heads since we can't actually see what we're doing underneath. And I'll just show you on the back one where we actually have the volume on the camera turned up. So now we've doubled all the rivets in the aft deck and now we'll add that reinforcing plate around where the horizontal stab is going to attach. So there all the riveting is done. We should have left out a couple rivets here which I'll show you in a second because the reinforcing plate that we're going to put over top is going to overlap those. So the two in the front that aren't primed, we should have left those out so we're going to have to drill those out. The 63 thou reinforcement plate is going to lay around where the horizontal stab mounts there. So we're going to have to drill out a few rivets and including the elevator control stop and then back drill everything up through the plate. So while we're at it we might as well show you how to remove a rivet. It's something that you will need to do at some point in your project I'm sure. Using a number 30 bit here for an eighth inch rivet the same size as the bit that we use to actually install the rivet and we'll just drill it a little bit and then every once in a while kind of twist the bit sideways and see if you can snap the head off and eventually it will it will pop off so that the head pops off we may have to drill it a little bit more to get the rivet out but ideally you want to then punch the rivet out or pull it from the back to prevent elongating the hole I like to use a pair of pliers like this, essentially just grabbing the back of the rivet, kind of pulling it out like a loose tooth. Just can't see my arm there because it's going through the front bulkhead. And if it doesn't pop out right away, you might have to drill it a little bit more uh, to loosen it, but eventually the rivet will pop out. Alternatively, you can punch it a little bit. If the aluminum is thick, that's a viable option, but if it's thin, thin aluminum on the back, then you definitely don't want to punch because you will bend the aluminum. So there's the rivet popped out and you have a nice clean hole that's not elongated. We've removed the elevator control stop because our reinforcement plate is gonna then sit underneath it. Now there is actually an underlying structure here, a plate that sits loose when all those rivets are drilled out. So we put a couple of Clecos back in and now we're just gonna drill number 40 hole, a couple of them actually, countersink them, put a couple rivets in there. The only reason for that is it's gonna hold that plate while we then back drill the existing holes up through the reinforcement plate. So we'll just rivet those flush so that they sit underneath the reinforcement plate and now that underlying structure is not gonna move.
Now we'll make the actual reinforcement plate just out of some poster board or cardboard. Tape it in place. Mark the edges along the fuselage, making sure that the actual reinforcement plate isn't going to overhang the edge because we will have some fairings along the horizontal stab later. So you can bring it in about a 3 seconds of an inch or so, so it doesn't overhang the actual deck itself. And then we'll use masking tape to actually mark the edges of where the horizontal stab attaches. So when we create our reinforcement plate, it's nice and tight. And we just have to file and sand to get the clearance we want around all the parts. Now we'll just mark where we want the reinforcement plate to end, which is about a half inch from the last rivet to give us nice edge distance. And we'll just use masking tape on those two lines, overlap our pattern, and then trace out that masking tape. And then now we have our final reinforcement plate uh, design that will cut out of 63 thou aluminum. So we just overlay another piece of masking tape to mark where that one is that we put underneath and then we can just trace that and that's our final size of our reinforcement plate. And just a test fit, it's going to be tight but we'll file and sand around those horizontal stab mounting brackets so that we don't get any rubbing or chafing. Now drilling this can be a pain. So I'm using an angle drill here to go up through the existing holes, essentially using a light and a mirror to get the, hole, to get the drill bit in the hole. And then once it's in the hole, carefully aligning it to 90 degrees and then drilling up through the part. There's a couple holes that you might not be able to do and you might have to revert to reaching in there with a nice sharpie, marking where the hole exists, taking the plate off and then drilling it on a workbench. It'll be fairly close. Not ideal for all the holes. Uh, you do want to back drill them as much as possible. And then here we're just adding some reinforcement rivets along the front, two in the back, I think five in the front. And there's our final pattern primed on the bottom. The curved part there is to clear the elevator horns. And now it'll sit in place and we'll rivet it all together, put the elevator control stop back on and prime everything. So again, riveting that in place, and every once in a while, sticking a flashlight and a mirror in there to make sure that all the rivets are setting nicely. So there's our reinforcement of the aft deck. We doubled the amount of rivets on the back and then added that 63 thou plate. Hopefully strengthen it up, prevent cracking in the future. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. Build yourself something, take it for a rip. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.